Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Classes, myself Manuja Naik and in this video we will learn about one of the most important topic of AutoCAD and that is working units. Working units are the units in which you are going to draw your drawing. So before starting any drawing you should know in which unit you are going to make your drawing. So there are two types of units. First is metric unit and second is imperial units. Units like mm, centimeter, meter, kilometer comes under the metric units and feet and inches comes under the imperial unit. Now let's see how to set your working units. Now here I have opened my AutoCAD software 2016. We'll open a new drawing by clicking on this start drawing. Now. The shortcut command for units is U and enter. I'll give this command U and and here you can see these different options. And the first option is unit. Say enter. And this dialog box will open on your screen. Now in this dialog box, first you can see is length under that type. Under that this drop down. If you click on this drop down you can see here is architectural, decimal, engineering, fractional, scientific. Usually in civil engineering we don't use fractional and scientific. We use architectural, decimal, engineering. If you choose decimal, if you are working in mm or centimeter or meter or kilometer then you'll have to choose this decimal. Then come to precision. Precision is you have to see or you have to decide how many decimal places you want after the decimal point. Here I want two decimal places so I'll choose this 0, 0.00 or even if you can choose 0. Then coming here you need to scale inserted content. Now here you'll have to choose which units you want to work in. Like millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer, whichever you want, I'll choose this millimeter. Now you can simply say yes. Now if you want to work in feet or inches, you'll either have to choose architectural or engineering. The main difference between the architectural and engineering is when you choose the architectural, here in the precision, the precision will be shown in these fractions and when you choose the engineering the precision will be shown as normal feet and inches so mostly to avoid the confusion we choose engineering now when you choose this engineering or architectural here you have to choose either feet or inches I would prefer you to choose the smaller unit that is inches to work easily. Now after doing this all these changes you simply say ok. Now once you set your working units there is another important thing is to set your dimension units. Dimension units are when you draw a drawing with specific units it's necessary that dimension shall be also shown in same unit. If your working units and dimension units are not same, there will be a confusion. Like for example, I'll draw a line here of 1000 mm. We'll check the dimension. Now your dimensions are showing in fits. So to to make the dimension units and working units same, go to this annotation, click on this icon and dimension style manager box will appear on your screen. Then go to modify, click on this primary units and here you will see linear dimensions under that unit format. You, cl you click on this drop down and select the decimal. Now precision you can choose whichever you want how many decimal places you want after the decimal point. Here I will choose the two decimal places 
and then say ok and set current and close now we check your dimension here and it will be shown in decimal like if you choose in unit if you choose your engineering change here to inches say ok now you draw a line of say 50 feet 5 inch now we check the dimension this is showing in mm because in dimension style we have set the dimension in units as mm sorry in decimal so you go to annotate select dimension style manager say modify and here in primary units you choose engineering and say ok set current close now we check the dimension we will see in fits this was all about setting up your working units and dimension units hope you all have un understood this concept and if you have liked this video then please like and subscribe our channel to learn more about AutoCAD. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.